Hi everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rhett in the Fay and I am here with Emily Bates and the Rosebud Challenge. Um, when left last episode, we had Luke move in with us, so he changed from the detective career with, like her to the spy career. So he's right currently an agency clerk. He needs to browse intelligence before he goes to work tomorrow. Or well, technically today at seven AM. So I'm gonna have um, I think it's under web, isn't it? Yeah. So I'll have him do that when he wakes up. And she is hungry. So we will open this. Grab a serving of that. And then use that and take a brisk shower. That way we can get his work done. Work starts for Luke in one hour. We'll also have him grab that. And her thumb's a little low, so why don't you watch comedy while you uh, while you eat? No, brisk shower. <clears throat> That's why we can get both of your stuff up. Oh yeah, last episode I also was able to afford, after Luke forged around the neighborhood, um, the computer with no real problem for how much it cost. Because we still have a little over a thousand simoleons. Bills haven't come yet. Uh, these guys don't need any attention right now. So overall we're doing pretty good. Um... I'd love to be able to hopefully soon be able to build a room specifically for their bedroom that we can move the couch into the house and potentially set up an actual um, dining table for the two of them. That would be kind of nice because right now they either sit at the desk with the computer while they eat or they... Why are you feeling uncomfortable? I've... I told you to go take a shower as soon as you're done eating. You're fine or you will be fine. And he's focused. Yep. It's time for work. We're going to have you leave before you get in too much trouble. Practice programming. No, oh, he wants to, no, he wants to buy a wedding arch. We're not going to buy a wedding arch. Luke is off to work. Hmm, Emily is here. Okay, now that you're done, stop watching the television. Because unlike Luke, once it's time for work, it's time for work. And you don't get any leeway with that. And if you've got time, we're going to dig that up. And... Wait, which part is that? Yeah. Free with the leopard frog. Works for me, works for me. Emily will start work in approximately one hour. Um, depending on how work goes, since we had trouble trying to find the suspect to arrest last episode, um, if she doesn't get a promotion by Sunday, their wedding will be on Sunday because she's got it off. Um, does he have it off? And he has it off. He's off work tomorrow, actually. So since they're both off work on Sunday, Sunday, aka two days, will be our, it's almost Luke's birthday, I think it's almost Emily's birthday too, yeah, she ages up in a day, and he ages up in two days, oh, she's gonna be an adult, she needs to ha start having babies soon too, that'll prolong her aging at least, you already, no, you already are engaged to Luke. You don't need to whip him that one. Like that. Buy a pool at least one by one. And do push-ups. Oh, here. The push-up one. No. 
exercise. Do push-ups. That one we can have you do before you go to work. Look at you go. That's right. We're going to get you pumped for work so that you'll do awesome and we can arrest the person that needs to be arrested. And it will be awesome and we'll love it. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. Okay. No, you're not. There's always people on all the computers. Always. Always. Please ignore my phone. Let's see. We want to browse the police database. Why are you tense? Because you're uncreative. Well, lucky for you, that is exactly why we bought the computer at home. So that you can write instead of going to the library at home. It's time. Uh, I just happen to always pick her computer to kick her off of. It's not even on purpose. It's just a random. This computer looks good. Let's use this one. And it just happens to be her computer. Okay. What do you want me to do now? Discuss theories. Let's do the all points bulletin. Let's see if this will work again. Oh, wait. I have clues. Apparently we have clues in our pocket. Go for a jog. We're not going for a jog. We'd work out upstairs if it told us to for an hour, but it's not telling us to do that right now. Okay. So issue an APB. Let's see if maybe this time we can find the elder in a long sleeve shirt in jeans who's a genius and has gray hair. Because this is kind of ridiculous that we went out like two or three times last time and couldn't find and I call glitch being that we found an elder who was in jeans and a long sleeve shirt and was a genius and had gray hair and was female and it gave us a performance loss because it told us that it wasn't her what are you, what are you doing? doing some sit ups, okay you go ahead and do that see like here young adult Carl is not a young adult or is not a female and not a female. And we made 116 civilians from our books. Wait, this is crazy. I haven't seen anybody like that. Where's Fixed now? Get to know. Get to know. And she is a young adult. Romantic. And active. <laughs> and ambitious. <laughs> she, 
Bless you. Bless me. I'm sorry. Wow. I just saw someone like that over there. Over where? There are no... I don't understand. Game, I don't understand. I don't understand game. I don't understand. No, don't ask for a pot, guys. <laughs> Is everybody coming in our guys? Wait. Who's this girl? Nancy Lagrab. Because she was at the crime scene where I arrested the wrong person, too. But I thought it was her. Because she's not in jeans, but this could be her act of wear for all I know. Wait, where'd you go? Hey, hey! Stop. Hey, stop. Stop her. Emily, get over here. No, come... Wait, stop. Okay, let's see if we can get to know. Get to know. No. Wrong button. Wait. I'm sorry, but I can't help you. Emily's a sm We're gonna arrest her. I'm gonna try and arrest her. She was at the other crime scene, too. Maybe she is the person we're looking for. Damn it! Okay. I don't know who this game is supposed to have me arrest because this stupid case, like, I'm about to have her change careers just because this is so annoying. Oh my god, I don't know what to do. Because nobody we look at... Like, we had one person that really fit the bill, and they, the game told me that I was the wrong person. And nobody has actually fit the bill since. So I don't know what to do. <clears throat> do I have her change careers, and maybe we go to the scientist career, since we clearly can't figure out because all I'm doing with accidentally tank uh, accidentally arresting the wrong person is tanking her performance like and it would suck to have to start at the bottom again but what else are we gonna do let's see 
round for your print tool. And search end. At least we can do some more police work. Say, what do you have? A fairy llama. What else do you have? A microphone. <laughs> Poor her. She's so bored. That didn't help him any. Oh. There are no civilians. Oh, there's one. Leave profit home 136 civilians. He did great work, too. I'll take a police report from this dude. He looks sad. And then we'll fingerprint you. So you say your cat Snuffles is in a tray again. I saw someone playing with matches near the trash cans in the park. They don't change their ways. Their pyromaniacs are going to grow up to be arsonists someday. Yes, they are. But there's nothing we can do about that. Hey, we haven't gathered in quite a while. Perhaps we should all meet. Now, right now, I'm at work. I still have an hour, two hours of work left. What are you doing? I didn't say chat with them. I said fingerprint him. Let's go. We're going to have to search him too. Nope. So put him back in his cell. Emily's work will end in one hour. Like, the one day that the game decides to have the civilians be taken care of by the dude at the desk is the day that it wants me to. That, like, I can't find anything APB-wise, so I figure I'll just stick around the office. So we can talk to the chief. How long is it safe to talk to her? Thanks, chief. Thanks. Take mug shots. We're not going to do that because we've only got 12 minutes. We're going to wash our hands. That should be plenty of time to wash our hands, right? I shall stop talking to stop talking to him. Okay, well, at least we brought home 609 simoleons. <laughs> hmm. 
No, look, he's comforting her. He's so focused. Buy a wedding arch. We're not gonna buy a wedding arch. Can these guys need anything? Help. Some mail delivered. Help. Thank you. Okay, now I know it's a glitch because they've woohooed before. So the, the they're woohooing for the first time is a glitch because I know I had a woohoo last episode after he moved in. I thought they had done it when he stayed over, but I could be. F I th I'm almost. F but I was wrong, and then he just went straight to bed, which is fine. But then I know they did last episode. And we'll do that. And that. What do you mean? Actually, you can go ahead and sleep because we don't need you on the computer. She's going to write for a little bit. Is she? Are you? And? Oh, that's so sad. Well, you take that shower. Failed. Oh, she's so sad. Sometimes it can be harder to expand the family than they hoped. Well, whoops. No, I didn't. Stop. Stop. Go back here. I want you. I know. I'm sorry. Take the shower because you are so. Uh oh. I'm not gonna wake him up. Let's see. We're gonna serve grilled cheese for dinner. Who's calling? There's a great party going on. I want to check it out. Nope. Mm, At least her. Look at you go. You got skills, girl. Or Batani. Twin bows. Delore Barankar. Lone Eyed. Arzani. Bush Sessate Grino. Bars. Swampy Plazzle Vilpa. A Grini. That's right. Oh. It's as sad as we are. We still love him. What do you want to do? Warm. Cook a meal. We are cooking a meal. Rasmus Look at that. Look at their bars. Their bars are so full. What? Wait, you're going to take a steamy shower. You're going flirty, dude. And then you are going to talk to your wife. That's right, eat that delicious grilled cheese. She's so sad.
That's right, we're gonna try one more time. I'm pretty heavy, right, too. At the Badger. That's a children's book, but... And I'd send a flirty text, but it won't let me send one to her because she's here in the room with him. No, actually. I'm going to have her try this pregnancy test real quick. And then she'll go to sleep. Actually, I can promise that. Okay, Emily, come on. Come on. Make it so. Yes! She's gonna go share the news with him. She's gonna go share the news. Watch it. Watch, watch. Hey, Luke. No, don't throw up. Don't throw up. She gave up. He's on the computer. She's like, I'm just gonna go to bed. Okay. Oops. Well, that works. This is where we're going to send the, stop the episode. Luke's birthday should be either tomorrow or the day after, so we may get him married on Luke's birthday, too. Because I think it's in a day. Or is it two days? Let's look real quick. It's in one more day. So we'll probably celebrate his birthday next episode, um, partially just because I don't want his birthday and the wedding on the same day. So he will age into an adult, for better or for worse, tomorrow in the next episode. And then episode after that, he will get married. Um, and actually, hang on. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Take a vacation day. Let's have her do this real quick. And then she can go to bed. This case is way too frustrating. I'm taking a vacation day. And now she can go back to bed. Okay. This is where we'll end the episode. She's got a vacation day off tomorrow, so they can celebrate his birthday. And I'll probably do an actual birthday party, so we can hopefully get gold on that. And then, on Sunday, we will have their wedding. So... Two days worth, two episodes and two parties. It shall be awesome. It shall be fun. Make sure you tune in. In order to tune in, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and make sure to leave a like on this video. I will see you all in the game next time. Bye!